Everybody here in the Donald L. Tucker, Tucker Civic Center is ready for this game to happen. A lot of people thought it would be three in favor of SKT with the strength they came into this tournament with. A lot of people wanted five, and SKT now have that chance with picks locked in. Head over to Twitter and use the hashtag EDGWIN or the hashtag SKTWIN. And get your votes out onto social media. We saw that vote getting a lot it's closer. Not an easy, the easiest dragon. They are very low level, and there's not like SKT doesn't have the people here. They have the speed shrine, but there are a few people in SKT. That oh, dragon put resetting! The ball. Stopped at 1600. Smite is not up for Bangies. He comes in here. This might be the fight focus for SKT. He flashes off the wall. Deft is level three. Flashes for the vision as well. First blood for Deft on his corky. Barn hits Nar. Hops out of that one, and EDG again pick up first blood. This is very risky for Coral because he's very far up the lane, and he just used flash. This should be a kill for SK Telecom. Yeah, Coral's not going to be able to do too much about this one. Level four and a level three, just feeding off the tree, and that's going to be level four. A lot of pings going down in the river for Bang and Wolf's rotation, but Faker is already here with Pawn. Nice Emperor's Divide. That's definitely the disengage. Faker can get a kill this early. That's going to be great. The true shot arrives from Bang is spot on. And Clear Love may be number two. Eagle Eye Bang heads in for a double kill. Maybe even a triple. Oh. One over the shoulder, and he doesn't pick it up. For him, unless, of course, Azir is still sitting there pushing. But now both mid laners have roaming potential. Typically, though, does Zia want to try and push the tower instead and just right. put as much damage on it as possible? Chip it away slowly, make it easy for the ADK to come in later. Whoa, Daft realizes the mana pool of Bang. Goes in hard, oh, gets the flash for the summoner heal, but Daft also has to use his. This means Wolf's coming in. You already have Bangy just by Dragon. He body slams over the wall. The teleport by Koro is actually canceled for pressure, but he probably wishes he came down now because Bangy's on site. Wolf's gonna be able to get the pulverize on the Mako. The headbutt back first to make sure they solidify the kill here. And I think they're gonna go ahead and give it over to Bangy with the little body slam. 2,300 gold on Bang, so he's still powering up. Look at Marin! Oh, Marin sweeps Koro right under the rug as they try to do -si do in the top lane. Marin bouncing back in this one, but it's all because of the early game in the lane swap. Triforce is finished. Nice, there's the true shot barrage. Pawn shifting Sands to the outside to make sure he is safe. Deft way too far forward with the exhaust on him. Ignite still ticking. Deft goes down and the team has to retreat. Much different matchup for Koro now. Not being able to adapt quickly once he's down. He has been ahead. Not really used to this situation within the series. Clear Love trying to add as much pressure as he can. Here comes Koro's teleport. He's going to finalize that one. The smite still going to Bengi, and it looks like EDG may get a bit of the cavalry here. Koro is trying to tank everything. He goes down to Bang. Now 4-0-2. SKT very low, and this is going to be the pawn cleanup. Shifts over the wall. No, that's Def that goes over the wall. He's got the scrying orb, and it, it. but again, a little too far ahead. Is it enough to pull the team back, though? Make it on! Throws everything. Everybody into the wall. SKT try to get back in the fight. He goes down. It all looks so good for a second, but it was just the flash. And Mako comes back in with the plays. Whenever they stop running these comps that had to just dive straight onto the enemy backline in these big team fights, they seem oh, to struggle quite a bit. They're doing the same now here with so much poke. Coral taking a lot of damage down here. Just straight up greed farming right there from Coral. They just lost both. There's a stacking on Marn. The efficiency of the itemization SKT can build in this game is making these fights much more difficult. Engaging on a Mega Nar. Yeah, just about to gnaw out the whole team. Side swiping from the bottom as well. He gets Pawn and Mako. Mako, can he deliver the Tibbers back into the fight? Marin trying to dodge out. Now Bengi onto Pawn nicely, keeping him far away from doing damage. But Bengi finds himself as the main target now. He will not go down. That's Grievous Wounds. Now they're on to Clear Love. SKT has managed to get themselves in a good position, but they all have very low HP as they skirt around dying in this fight. Faker starts to pick up kills, goes in Zanya's. That's actually going to be a kill over to Bang, and they won't finalize. May go out. Faker gets the force pulse double kill. Here comes Koro, though, and he may be able to pick a few up. He's just going to have a dance with Wolf. It's not done yet, though. SKT was so low from that last fight that they yep. had to recall 
And EDG's trying to sneak it. They may be able to teleport to this one, though. We saw Koro use his, so it is going to be Marin that's able to make it in. The Narbar's halfway full. Dragon is going to go over to Clear Love. It's something they needed to get those stats in. Marin is in a great spot to stop anybody from getting away. Pawn over the wall as well. Everything's happening in retreat right now for EDG. And SKT is just layering on the damage. Only able to find Koro here. But I think Mako is going to be a second kill as well. And that is another double kill for Finger the Baron they're posturing over. But Scuttle Crab control for EDG. They're actually going to be the ones that try and force this with the teleport in from the backside. They can't find Marin. He's close to Meganar. Let's see this. Home guard comes in, wears off, so a little bit of that pressure is down. Koro throws down the ultimate. Can they close the gap, though, from the side of EDG? They're still on the back. Pawn is getting time to work those blood-boiled soldiers, but all SKT does is back up slightly, and they are completely now able to zone the fight. Pawn dives in. Emperor is defied, so they can fly towards the back line, and Bengi hits up Deft immediately. He flashes over the wall. A nice Foss Bomb to take down Bengi, and it looks like Deft trying to skirt around the fight cannot do so. SKT is just able to reposition themselves so fast. This this composition can jump, hop, body slam, and rift walk. You just can't get away. And that engage from EDG sending in your mid laner in the middle of the SK Telecom team here. You can't get your mitts on this slippery SKT team since yeah. they pulled so far ahead right here. The instant EDG commits, SKT can jump on the exposed backliners. I love the way SKT is playing patiently here. The body slam in, getting clear love out of the fight so they cannot be zoned with that absolute zero. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to use many of their ultimates at all. Mako gets out of this one. He still has Tibbers up. Using that stun accordingly is going to be big, but all he gets is a Polaroid of himself going down when he flashes that one. 22 to 6 is the score for SKT as they start to close the door on game four. We are going to go to a full five here in the finals of the midseason invitational. SKT dropping the last Nexus turret. Minimum min when minion waves on the way in. It's not going to matter. They're going to pull it off. We're going to game five. And that was such a weird early game for EDG. Walking randomly into the jungle of SK Tele Telecom, being caught out, picking fights, flashing forward, instead of taking the same sort of engages they did in game two and game three, where they seem to be in control, knowing when to use certain power spikes here. They gave so many kills over to SK Telecom, and they just took everything and used it to completely take over the game. Yeah, they had many of the same picks from the previous matchup as well. But on SKT's side, they changed a lot, which I think changed the complexion of the moves that EDG was trying to pull off. We know that they're a team that overreaches at times, and they were definitely overreaching. Remember, they started that last game three up six kills to zero, and sure. they were probably trying to reemphasize something like that because it didn't work, and SKT made the adjustment. With Faker, we're going to game five. We are going to game five, and we are going farther than that. For more on that series tying win, let's